All right, time to go recover the UFO that Starbuck somehow managed to shoot down. Strike one. Prepare for yeah, landing. Starbuck. There should never be a doubt. <laughs> Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. No, really? Now my preparation wasn't here. You know, there like the minute or two where I was getting ready. I brought that other sniper, Ashley, along with. The reason it's not there is because the game froze on this load screen here before. And I could have like uploaded that with this, but I'm like, oh, fuck that. There's no point. But this is why I'm not playing on Iron Man. Due to personal experience. Well, go ahead and talk. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. The reason I'm not playing on Iron Man is obviously not because I don't want to. It's because the fucking console version of the game is not stable. At least through my own experiences, it's not. I mean, I've already lost a fucking Iron Man run that I had 60 plus parts recorded of. And now I'm starting to see, like, game phrases and all this other shit early on. I, I can't. You know, we get another corrupt file. I'm probably going to, you know, well, not be happy. But you see the point I'm making. This sh It doesn't happen on the PC versions of the game, but on the console, it does. At least mine, it does. So they're the four. This is why I do not play on Iron Man. Uh, let's go find the... Find the meld. Why don't you drop a scanner over there, Apollo? What is a shot as block shit? You can't throw it around the tree? Come on, it's not that difficult. Do I have to come down there and show you how to do it? Apparently I do. Incoming signal for battle scanner. Alright, on screen. There's the first meld. How nice of it to be right there. Thank you, Battle Scanner, for showing me where that was. I appreciate that very much. Racetrack, bring him back up this way. Heading there now. Visual on the oh, plenty of turns. Perfect. I'm liking that. That's actually making me happy. Scanner's showing no aliens either. It doesn't mean that, you know, we won't see any from our extended sight range outside of the uh -huh. scanner, but... Uh, pretty safe bet we can move up here, alright. Heading to that location. I'm rolling. Roger. Uh, maybe. Moving. Let's just move up and see if we can get to the meld without Water triggering contact. I would like very much to get the meld. I don't think I got the meld on the last mission. No, the last mission was port and there wasn't meld. So, but I don't know if I got it. It's really a, a, a major bitch to get both canisters on these large UFO maps. You're not gonna double move. Well, I mean, yeah, to catch up with the rest of the squad, maybe, but I mean, just double move dashing, it's suicide. It's, you know, if you do that on impossible, you just obviously don't care about your soldiers at all. <laughs> I gotta find the mill, I don't care, I'll just keep... And you know, soldiers cost a lot of money on impossible, they're 15 bucks a piece. Which is way more than you pay for them. And, well, actually, maybe early 20. I don't remember. They're either 15 Moving or 20. Moving. So ideally, I don't want to be buying soldiers. No. Heading there now. I want to be getting them from missions and shit like that. And that's where I want to get all my people from, if, if it's possible. I just leave Apollo up here in Overwatch in case something stumbles in our line of sight. Yeah, I heard it. I think the floaters are not enjoying this uh, section of American Badlands. Or actually, Nigerian Badlands. Yeah, we are in Nigeria, right? Yeah, that's right. On the move. Sorry, it just looked like Montana there for a minute, so it just kind of threw me off. Probably thinking, you know, this place is definitely different from our home. I don't know. The floaters seem to be a race that's from, like, you know, a, a, 
an aerial city like Mos Eisley, you know, something like that. You know, not, you know, a world like ours. We still don't have any visual on any aliens. We have meld, so I'm kind of happy about that. So, I believe my cybernetics lab is under construction. I think it is, or have I not built it yet? I forget. I do need to get that going if it's not like ASAFP. Mechs are awesome. Roger that. On. Really? Come on, you stupid floaters. Come say hello. I don't like this. I think they're going to catch us with their pants down. They tend to. In theory, you don't leave your pants down, but, you know, when you're scouting, it's okay as long as you can get people into cover positions and shit when you need to. It's alright. Yeah, let's put Ashley up here. She's a one-shot kill for, like, anything. <laughs> Except a sectoid if she gets really lucky. Probably should work on armor. Oh, there they are! Oh, look at the little floaters. Shoot them, please. Oh, what were you doing with the shotgun equipped? All right. I don't know. Apollo hit one. Well, good. He's supposed to hit them. Okay, so one goes on Overwatch, and the other two decide to just sit there and not go on Overwatch. What the hell are they thinking? Do you have a... No squad side shot, which really aggravates the everling fuck out of me. Now, Heavy doesn't have a visual, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a rocket shot. And I can easily run on gun up there and drop one, but, you know, I only saw the one go on Overwatch. So, instead of... Plus, I'd be putting myself right in harm's way by doing that. So, let's see if we can do this with the rocket. Because, you know, we're in bad position, so that's probably why the one went in Overwatch. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. With pleasure. Nice hit! Well, there's three idiots down. There's probably, I want to say, nine aliens here. There might, Ten there might more. be eleven. It just got hot here. I can't remember how many a large scout has on Impossible. A small scout has five. Same. As, well, I think it's the same on all difficulties for the smaller UFOs. Um, we're gonna take that shot. Looks good. It's a hit. I'll take it. Headshot failed, but that's okay. Definitely going to need to get him a laser sniper sooner than later. I don't know if Boomer is going to have a decent shot here. She's got shots, but... Uh, uh. One's in heavy cover, one's in soft cover. Not liking the fact that racetrack is like vulnerable either. Moving it's to really leaving a sour taste in my mouth. And, you know, I drink Bud Light, and Bud Light normally does not leave a sour taste in my mouth. But right now, there's a very sour taste there because it's like son of a bitch. Okay, I'm starting to like this chick. Uh, let's see. Considering she's got four kills. I can take this shot, which will miss for sure, or I can get the fuck out of the way, or hunker down. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I can drop back here. Uh, yeah, that's heavy. that's that's hard cover. Let's do that. Just get her out of the line of sight. Are you going to shoot at me, or are you going to run like a bitch? I am going to bet he's going to run. Yep, he's running. Now, why would he double move when he had a potential killing shot, you wonder? I swear, floaters have, like, the... L they are, like, the most cowardly of all the alien races. If you start killing their buddies, they're more than the likely to... The computer could prove to be extremely <sighs> useful in our own research. Please, take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. 
Damn it, Colonel Ty. I told you to not let her in the CIC when I'm on an op. I'm just kidding, but, you know, sometimes Balin just aggravates me when I'm trying to say something, and she, like, butts in and goes, and da, 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 da. Well, you know, whatever. I lost my train of thought. Thanks, Balin. Oh, something about floaters running. Yeah, they are more likely to run away if you start killing their buddies than stay and fight you. Even if they have good hit chances and good shots, they will more than likely run away. I don't know. It annoys the shit out of me because now I have to go chasing him and that's not what I want to do. I'm not leaving racetrack there either because he's got a nice shot on her. I'm on it, uh, probably about a 40% to hit, but, you know, they hit on 40%. A lot. Aye, aye. She's got to reload. I'll just drop back Moving here and do position. it. Ready to engage. I don't think we're alone out here. Suppose it moved now. Moving. We're gonna find out. Come on, Mr. Yep, it moved. That little bastard. I'm gonna stay here though, just in case it comes back into range. That way I can finish it with a squad side shot if it's still too far away for me to get to, because naturally if I move up any further we're going to activate sectoids and probably the outsider. And uh, It depends on where, if, where they are on the ship, but I'm assuming the other aliens are close Location by. Confirmed. Hey, why don't you get down there? Back on Reload. Heading there now. And move Boomer up now. It's not who she... Oh, apparently that wasn't a dash move. I thought it was. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess you can just, you know, switch to your pistol. What's making that noise? Floater's like, um, they're hurting me. Please help. And, of course, something else is moving up there that I can't see because we're hunkered down. Well, in case it decides to take a shot. How do you know he's pulling back if you can't see him? I'm just saying. Uh-oh. Sectoids. Which I imagine the floater probably called. He's like, oh, they're kicking my ass. You flank shot. You're dead. Get rid of him. I think a flank adds 20% to your offense. I think it does. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Otherwise, that should have would have been a hundred. You know. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. Affirmative. Moving out. Floaters do have natural D too because they're flying. I think they do. I think they have a D of ten. So it kind of negates Apollo's scope. So he's getting his raw aim of 78 against him. I don't like this. I know there's one right there standing on the edge of the ship, so eh, I might just come up back this way. I want to get her up there so that she's going to be able to spot for Apollo, but... Moving out. Gotta find better cover, though, to do it. You can just sit there on Overwatch. I don't even want you moving up. Probably won't kill anything sitting there on Overwatch, be it with limited vision range, but I don't care. It is totally not worth, you know, risking your ass getting shot and killed. Alright, what do we got? We got two, don't we, racetrack? Okay. Okay. Is this the Melder? I don't know. Look, target the one with four health. Dead. It's not the Melder. No, that was probably the other bastard who was sitting on Overwatch, which is good. Getting rid of one of them helps. The Melder is way the fuck back here in the corner. Okay. That's annoying. We 
can move up to this tree. Which I might do. I'm on the move. Well, I'll just stay there because it's safe. Well, not really. It's out of their line of sight, but it's not exactly safe. They can run up and shoot. Getting dangerously close to racetrack, that ha could be hazardous to your health. Yeah, I don't even have to move to uh, kill it with her if I want to. Now, I'm unsure if he's overwatched or not. Let's see. Well, we'll just hit him. Not gonna kill it. Hell no, not at that range. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think he's dead. One sectoid left, and then there's the stupid ass la 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 la, outsider. Copy that. I brain farted there. I'll be honest with you guys, in the last 48 hours, I have slept a grand total of three and a half of them. Well, maybe four. What is it? Last night, I think I slept from like midnight and midnight until like 4 a.m. Yeah, that's about right. Yep. That sounds about right. I don't like to sleep on my days off, because I have too much shit I need to do. I can sleep during the work week in between shifts. My days off, hell no. Plus, playing this game while sleep deprived is a lot more exciting. Oh, come on. Why? Well, I have a bad feeling about this. My way. Hmm, nothing. That's what I thought. Bitch is running back. Oh yeah, it's scared. We killed his buddies. You can reload. Uh, we'll stay there, Boomer. Stay there. Stay there. Hi there! I'm gonna completely miss you in every way, shape, and form. She had a 63% chance to hit that shot, so it doesn't surprise me. Anything under, like, fucking 90 seems to be a miss in my... Or, like, you know, a coin toss. Well, actually, anything under 100 seems to be a coin toss lately. I didn't like you shooting at him, Boomer. She's got a 63. I think it's in soft cover. Um, I don't think I can get up. I might be able to get up there. I can get up there. Uh, it's, it's dying this turn. Heading there now. I don't know if you're gonna have shots though. Uh-uh. Guess not. Oh, what was with the frame rate drop there during the shots? That was kind of creepy. Maybe it was still rolling results. 78! It's a hit. I'll take it. Not a kill. Now I have to do this. Hunt him down. Roger Diver. Got something over here. Ah. <sighs> How did I not see this? The little bastard was setting me up from the beginning. Oh. Face palming. Well, I gotta protect racetrack, so go here. On the move. Yep. Sorry, Rebecca, but oh, man. that's affirmative. I'm fucking pissed now. That was just dumb. I walked right into that like an idiot. I'm on a yeah. Well, you survived. That's good. <clears throat> I don't like having to sacrifice people, but the first fucking thing that popped into my mind was protect racetrack because it can flank and kill her. Moving. 
Yeah, she's got 8 health, but if it gets a uh, max damage crit, it kills her. Instead, I'll take the flank shot and carry another soldier out of there in critical condition. Not well played. <sighs> Could have been worse. Oh well, 20 days before I can use that heavy. So now both of my Shredder Rocket heavies, assuming she gets promoted, I'm sure she will because she had like 4 or 5 kills, are out for like 200 years. This will make the upcoming Terror Op fun, that's for sure. So I think the Terror takes place before Friends in Low Places does. Both should... yeah, both will happen this month. Oh yeah, she did get promoted. Racetrack made captain, that's awesome. Close combat specialist. Nine health now with the armor, that's awesome. She's almost crit, she's almost LPR crit immune. Almost. Because the LPR can crit up to nine. Yes, nine. Got all kinds of shit from that. That'll be fun to sell. Upcoming cybernetics labs. Oh, yeah, okay. Guarantee the terror mission will take place before I get beam weapons. It, I mean, doesn't really matter all that much anyway. The only people who can carry them are, like, Boomer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Boomer's the only one who can carry it. And re <clears throat> Well, everybody can carry the pistols. Here we go. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Perfect! Time for terror. Now, what's really rough is the fact that I don't have... I've got the two Shredder heavies out. Ideally, I'd want two heavies for this mission, but we're just gonna have to go with the one we have. Got two snipers, though, so that's something. <laughs> 